Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So in this video I want to talk about a super rare acropore, the Tyree Purple Monster. But before I do that, if you want to help support the channel and pick up some SPS frags, please visit reefbum.com. And with that, let's get into the video. So the Tyree Purple Monster is considered by many serious SPS collectors like myself to be a holy grail coral. Uh, these days, you just really can't find a lot of them around. It was collected back in 1995 from the Solomon Islands and there's a really cool story behind it. Steve Tyree put a, um, a post on Facebook, provided all the details in terms of how the coral made it into the aquarium trade. So I will put a link in the video description below. Definitely check it out. It's a really, really cool read. But you know, if I, if I had to rank all my favorite SPS corals, I would have to say the Tyree Purple Monster is right at the top of my list. It's this gorgeous purple, deep purple magenta coloration it's got like these Christmas tree branches, very solid um, looking acropora. Um, typically it has the white polyps. That's, that's uh, when you know you've got a true Tyree purple monster, but we'll get more into that in a bit. So the purple monster is notorious for being a very, very slow grower. But the first time I ever had it in reef tank was back uh, years ago in Connecticut in my 225 gallon reef tank. And I had a couple of colonies. It grew really fast for me. It grew like a weed for me. I, you know, I, I had it under 400 watt, 20K radium bulbs. It, uh, it just did really, really well for me. Um, I did break down that tank and sold the colonies. So I no longer had that um, original PM that I had in that tank. But a number of years ago for my 187 gallon tank, I acquired a frag. And man, let me tell you a different story. Same kind of lighting. 400 watt 20k radium bulbs but it was just such a slow grower for me i had it in the tank and it um it really just encrusted on the rock and i also had some other corals around it um, specifically the, an or oregon blue tort which started to encroach on it and shade it out so what i did was i went into the tank and and pulled out well i guess i kind of chiseled off as much of the rock as i could that the purple monster was on to try to salvage some pieces of that thing. And I was able to, um, to salvage a couple of um, pieces, made, um, made a couple of small frags of it. And uh, I also put a piece on a um, three inch by three inch tile. And it just grew really slow. I don't know what the difference was because I was pretty much doing the same thing in terms of the lighting. Maybe it was something else in terms of I was doing. The last year, year and a half, it's been growing at a quicker rate, growing some branches. I think, um, you know, par wise, it's been getting around 250 par back uh, when I had it in Connecticut, it might have been getting more par than that. I think the higher up in the tank, the better in terms of my experience in my peninsula tank. I know the frag that I have in there is um, probably getting about 350 par and maybe it's growing a little bit faster than what I have in the, uh, the frag tank. But um, nonetheless, I wanted to try to spur on some more growth of that frag that I had on the frag tile so i did recently cut a couple of frags to see if i could kind of move things along a little bit and uh, those those frags are spoken for please don't reach out to me asking for purple monster frags um, i'm not going to frag that thing probably for like another year no waiting list either so anyway that um that's kind of like the plan of attack moving forward with uh with that um particular piece on the frag tile so I mentioned uh, earlier that um, back in 1995 that this coral was originally collected from the Solomon Islands. Now this is, uh, this is interesting. Back um, 20 years later in 2005, um, Jake Adams from Reef Builders, Unique Corals and Triton, they did a, a joint expedition back to the same location in the Solomon Islands where the PM was originally collected on a mission to try to collect um, more of what was originally collected. And um, again, I'll put a link in the video description of the article that Jake wrote in Reef Builders about that expedition. I think, um, you know, they, it looked pretty darn close to what the original PM was. 
And I believe um, where they uh, ended up is that, you know, unless you do some DNA testing, they won't be able to verify whether it's the actual original purple monster that was collected back in 1995. So I think, you know, there might be some of those frags out in the trade. There, um, there's probably a bunch of other lookalikes that have the purple monster name on it. So I think folks out there, you have to be really careful about what, um, what you're buying if they're being peddled as a, uh, a Tyree, original Tyree purple monster. I mentioned the, uh, the white polyps. That's usually a, a telltale sign that you've got um, um, a purple monster from the original strain. I, um, I'm really confident that the, uh, the purple monsters that I have in my system are from the original Tyree purple monster. I've got um, some good uh, documentation, lineage, whatever, uh, anecdotal uh, evidence from the person that I got it from. So I'm really confident that it is a, uh, an original Tyree purple monster. But yeah, it's, um, it is like one of my favorite corals. And I think the fact that uh, you could hardly find any um, frags of it out there speaks volumes about how tough of a coral it is to keep because of the, uh, the amount of time that it takes to grow it into a decent sized piece, right? I mean, a lot can happen over uh, time. I've probably had this, um, the, the, this latest purple monster for several years. And the fact that, um, you know, I haven't really grown it much bigger than a, a three inch frag tile uh, says a lot about it. But uh, I think it's just really cool. I think it's got some really, really cool stories behind it. And uh, yeah, I think that's just something about the hobby in terms of the stories about the corals that have been collected and have been circulating around. So with that, I'll, uh, I'll end the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Until next time, be safe, be well, later.